Hey, Brian here uh, from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to let you know I've got my march to this HFT platform uh, still continuing. Uh, the big primary one uh, I've been looking at was the workflow of the development for pretty well anything in uh, C++, specifically where you're using Linux as a target uh, system uh, for your code. Um, well, uh, I've kind of pretty well think I figured it out. I'm using NetBeans as my uh, integrated development environment. Um, I have played with the Eclipse uh, CDT for um, C++ to plus plus development and uh, from what I've seen so far it seems to be badly bug ridden so that's why I moved over to NetBeans. It's quite good actually. Um, I put up a, uh, a little link about uh, trying to do a remote D a C++ development with Linux on something like where your target is uh, Linux. Um, there is a link to this at Chris uh, Donnan um, and then there's another link that will take you to a NetBeans tutorial for that. Um, but uh, I'm not really interested in going that route. Um, what I have done though is um, I've got my NetBeans here um, and it's the latest version, the current version 7.1 uh, um, and also at the same time I'm running Sigwin and this is all on my Windows environment. Call me lazy, call me whatever. Um, uh, I'm not there yet in terms of uh, working directly on Linux. It's not a fun experience for me. I just like my Windows. It's what I'm used to. I've been using it for uh, many years. Um, so as a result, a good good option for people like myself is to use something called Sigwin, which is basically your um, kind of like a Linux-like environment on Windows. So I've installed it. Um, the key uh, takeaways from during the install is to choose uh, three items uh, for your libraries, your Linux-like libraries, is the GCC, um, uh, which is found under development, uh, and that is for the GCC compiler, as you can see right here. This is the Sigwin terminal, um, and uh, you can, this is the GCC compiler. Uh, I've got the G++ compiler, which gets installed as well. You need to also install your uh, make environment, uh, so anything ma make related. Most of all is the GDB, um, the uh, new debugger. It's very low level, but the underlying, that's the underlying uh, technology that uh, is used by the NetBeans when you install the NetBeans so that when you can run your debugger, no difference within I don't know, Visual Studio or Eclipse, you, you can do your debugging. So. Obviously, you need to have that installed and uh, that your system can run it. I've got all kinds of um, videos on how to do that or postings um, or a lot. I mean, there's tons of tutorials on how to get the SIGWIN running. It's pretty simple. Uh, so what I want to show you now is just a very simple C++ program uh, and just show you that the debugger is running. Uh, again, this is no different than Eclipse or Visual Studio. In my case, uh, this is a very simple Hello World um, program in C++. And all I've done is I've uh, set up uh, some um, breakpoints for the debugging. Um, so let's say if I want to set up uh, a breakpoint here, I can run the debugger. Um, sorry, this project's already been built. Um, so I just run the uh, debugger. Uh, I haven't used NetBeans a whole lot, so forgive me if I look like an idiot here. So obviously the uh, the, the runtime execution has stopped at my breakpoint, and then I can step through the, um, the code, uh, which is very powerful for um, things like uh, uh, running uh, like an HFT environment or whatever you're, you're, you're running. So these are very powerful um, tools. Um, the nice thing about this is I could take this code and then port it over to my uh, Linux uh, system, obviously my uh, virtual box VM and um, the, uh, uh, this guy right here in Ubuntu in my case, uh, but it could be real any uh, um, virtual machine of Linux. Um, and then just rebuild it, remake it and it should work. Um, that's, I'm hoping, that's the workflow I'm going with for this HFT development. 
um, that's how I'm looking at and there's one other item I wanted to show you there is a uh, posting I just put up about remote C++ development using Net NetBeans in a tutorial again this can be found here this Chris Donnan and follow through to the uh, NetBeans tutorial uh, some pretty powerful stuff but I'm gonna just keep it this way for now and um, do what you gotta do but you got more options now